So I chase hurricanes all over the world. Uh, and that includes typhoons and a typhoon is a hurricane. They're the same thing. So, uh, because of that, LA is actually the perfect place to be. I have equal access to East Asia and to the Caribbean. I can get to anywhere on the globe, uh, kind of with equal speed. This year, I can't chase in East Asia. All those, all those countries are closed down. Just, uh, you can't go into any of them. So because I'm only chasing in North America and probably only in the U S I figured, you know what, I'm going to station right in the heart of the USA's hurricane country. And the Mississippi coast is actually the midpoint. It's like within 12 hours, I can get to South Texas, South Florida, and the Eastern Carolinas, so it's a midpoint. Hurricane Camille passed right over Bay St. Louis, you know, and that was the second strongest hurricane in American history. Like, what to me, as a hurricane nerd, is an historic location. And then, of course, you know, this was ground zero for Katrina as well. The highest storm surge happened basically right around Bay St. Louis and past Christiane. So it's got a lot of rich history. This here house has been, has survived both Camille and Katrina, which is kind of cool. This house has been here since around 19, the owner tells me around 1930. So uh, it's this, this hurricane house, as I call it, has been through some serious storms. So you come down here and everyone's basically like a hurricane nerd. I mean, I mean, like everyone here has been through at least one big hurricane. Everyone, uh, everyone has an interest in the topic. Everyone has some kind of like wisdom from having gone through them. And everyone here is interested to talk about the topic. So for someone like me, I'm just like a kid in a candy shop because I could just talk to like anyone here and hear their cool stories and, you know, and they're knowledgeable about it. And that's really cool. And that's, that's fun. I feel like less of a, almost like less of a weirdo here. You know, you can talk to people about this stuff. As people here know, every hurricanes are these incredible phenomena, and 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 to me, even a Category One is just like wow. I mean, there's something like just the power of it. Even a Category One, it still kind of inspires. It still has like a magical quality to me. You know, it never gets old for me. I feel like you know, I'm kind of like a drug addict in a sense. It's like I'm just constantly hunting down, you know, that feeling. Hannah was my 50th hurricane, the 50th time I've been in the eye wall of a hurricane, and uh, you know, it's. The drug never gets old, you know, and I don't want to trivialize it. I, you know, they, they cause misery, but the actual natural event is, is something that's utterly stunning to behold and it never gets old for me, whether it's a category five or a category one. You know, I'm kind of a born adventurer. You know, I spend my life just kind of traveling around the world, experiencing different cultures, you know, hunting down dangerous storms. And the pandemic has been rough in the sense because I'm just, you know, just being stuck in one place all those months. You know, I was kind of like needing an adventure and coming here, just living somewhere completely different is that adventure. You know, the hurricanes aside, just to live somewhere completely different like this and just explore it and just absorb it is like, that's an adventure.